the prophecies that mean that the Messiah is to come from the Davidic line. And so David is this root that is very important for us to understand. I would lift David up. God tells Samuel, you gotta find another person and send Samuel out to find the next king before Saul is no longer king. That's an interesting dynamic that we will discuss. So Samuel goes out to find a new king, and that's where we find ourselves. Chapter 16. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, How can I go? Saul will hear about it and kill me. The Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice. You may imagine that when the prophet shows up, it's not always good news. Right? Prophet tends to show up to tell you what you have done wrong and how God may strike you down. So when Samuel walks in, cow and all, the people say, is this a good visit or a bad visit? And Samuel says, When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they met him. They asked, Do you come in peace? Samuel replied, Yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. And he brings Jesse and his family in. Jesse has a lot of sons, and Samuel is looking for the next king among Jesse's sons. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and had him pass in front of Samuel, but Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then had Shammah pass by, but Samuel said, Nor has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel, but Samuel said to him, The Lord has not chosen these. And we hear the same story again, where the one who shouldn't be chosen is the one who is chosen by God to be the leader, to be the judge, to be the king, to be the savior. Right? That's the same story over and over again, that who we see, what we see in other people, is not almost ever what God sees. We're moving into a new period, the kingdom period, and we're going to study